All right, data versus information. You know the deal. Sometimes these two words are used interchangeably. And that is not right. That's why I am here making this video. Before we move on, you have the option to like, comment, share, subscribe and all that. You know it already, but this is a reminder that it will help me out a little bit. Now, formal definitions. Data. Data is raw, unfiltered, unorganized facts. Data is very important, but without context, data is useless. For example, if I put something in front of you like this, it's just random numbers. It is not very likely to make much sense. If I put the dollar sign behind them, you know that these are some amount of money. But it will still not make any sense to what this is and what do we do with this number. The word data comes from the singular Latin word datum. It literally means something given. Now let's talk about information. Information is what you get after processing data and finding the hidden meaning behind it. When data is presented with proper context and we can derive a logical meaning from it, it will be called information. Information is dependent upon data. Without data, there will be no information. Information can be extracted from data. Let's talk about examples. I showed you these numbers. After seeing the dollar signs, you can understand that these are some specific amount of money. Nothing else can be derived from it. But if we know that these are the data for a specific company's revenue over the last three quarters, then we can derive the information on how the company has been doing over this period of time. Another example. If we see the data of the amount of temperature changing over the last 140 years, we can find interesting information. The data is about the changes in temperatures of the overall year in the entire planet. The information we can get from this is that the temperature has been increasing steadily after the 1970s. And the rate of increase in the data has gotten alarmingly high after 2010. So, the information we have in hand is the globe is warming. But we can say that it is only getting warmer by 0 0.9 degrees Celsius per year, right? Not even 1 degree Celsius. Not that much hot, right? Less than 1 degree. Oh boy, this subject gets me depressed. Sorry you had to see that, my apologies. But that was an example for how we get information from data. Data was the amount and information is what we understand from that amount. Anyway, data alone does not make any sense. But we cannot have any information without data. Both are important. Thanks a lot for watching. I have a Patreon page. You can support me over there if you want to. No pressure on that. And of course, it is time for bonus. You want bonus, don't you? Here's your bonus. Here is the data, the exact data on the overall temperature increase and decrease over the years and if we stop at this point exactly as this point we can see that from 1940 to 1945 the temperature was on the positive mark negative before that point and after that point what exactly happened at that time i think you know what happened from 1939 to 1945 don't you? I just wanted to see if that event had any effect on the overall global temperature. Now, 
it was positive at that time, but it does not hold a candle to what happened after 1980s. What really happened after 1980s? Rapid development of mankind. That's what happened. We as a species are developing and as a result, we are rapidly increasing the overall temperature of our planet. <sighs> Man, I got in a bad mood while making this video. Thanks for watching. You can like, share, subscribe, comment, whatever. I hope, I really hope you learned something new today.